right from the start, I'm pissed. And it's not their fault, but it's their fault. So here's what happened. On the Luck and Coffee app, there's several different choices for breakfast combos. I tapped here for the one that comes with the bagel sandwich. I picked my drink and I pressed order. What I didn't see is that back here it says the price is 20.35 RMB and up. So I also missed that the pre-selected choice was not the bagel sandwich, but the cookie. Who orders a coffee with a cookie as a breakfast combo? Apparently a lot of people do because that's their top combo. So my breakfast is now the Ethiopia coconut latte and an oatmeal cookie. Luckily, I managed to order something else to go with it. The eclair, essentially. I guess I'm going full on American style and having essentially a donut for breakfast. So for thrift, yeah, I realize I'm talking over myself. It's because I suck at talking. Get better at talking and I'll let myself talk more. Anyway. The whole order, including delivery fee, cost me 35.9 RMB, or about $5.55. That is a pretty good deal. Delivery fee was 6 RMB, which is reasonable, just under a dollar. But I also got the standard huge luck and discount that you always get. So that's 22.1 RMB off. A quality Ethiopian bean coconut latte, which we already know is going to be incredible, plus an oatmeal cookie and an eclair, delivered for under $6. That's a good deal if I've ever seen one. Especially since usually the Ethiopian bean coconut latte is 35 RMB by itself when it's full price. So, Luckin gets a solid 9 for thrift. Aesthetics. Luckin does a good job of this in-store, but I gotta say I'm disappointed in their delivery. It starts out nicely with the standard paper bag and their dope logo. It's well printed, it's made out of not like the super shitty paper, but not like the heavy wasteful paper. But it falls apart when you see the pre-packaged, factory produced nature of the food items. Plastic, wrapped in plastic, encased in plastic. The outer plastic goes around, okay. The, this layer is wrapped in plastic and this goes on top. So me attempting to take this plastic off first has now smashed it. Lovely. Doesn't really scream, fresh! If it was just the drink, it would be like an 8.5. But adding the food and this whole thing here and the experience opening the eclair goes down to a five. <sighs> Sorry, Luckin. I still love you. Save the environment. The fact that the food is factory made we already know it's gonna be more wasteful. Because it has to be shipped, it has to be shipped in packaging so that the stuff's not gonna get ruined, and the result is just sad. I don't think their baked goods are worth it. Plus, the drink holder. There isn't really any way around that, but at the same time, they only make one type. So this thing is huge for one drink. Sorry, Luckin. Again. Five. Taste. Now this one, I've been looking forward to. We may not have the bagel sandwich, but at least we have some breakfast items. You know, cookie. I'm still really disappointed I wanted that breakfast sandwich, but. Hmm. For what it is though, like I've gotten Subway's cookies quite a few times because I like cookies and they're just awful. This is pretty good. I'd be, I'd be satisfied with this. If I wanted a cookie, crumbly, it's flavorful. It fits with what Luckin is. It's not like a fresh baked bakery cookie, but it doesn't taste stale and old and crappy. It's fine. This will be my third coconut latte and the final type. There's the original flavor. That's just their standard beans, whatever their house blend is. There's the Yunnan version. And this is the Ethiopia version. I said I was gonna try before. Oh, they tape over the holes so that it doesn't, uh... Come on, Doug. Fair enough. Oh, that's the best one yet. No question. Best one yet. I think the Ethiopia beans have the strongest flavor. They very much 
overpower the coconut enough to where you can like taste the flavor of the beans. First one I had was like, you can tell it's coffee, but I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the Yunnan version and the standard version. But this one has like a distinct Ethiopia coffee flavor on top of the coconut. And it still brings it all together for that just, this is the best drink ever. However, all the ice is melted. Although maybe they don't put ice in the delivery version. Not really sure. Tastes really good though. It goes really well with the cookie too, surprisingly. Doesn't feel like breakfast though. All right, time for dessert. I'm not sure how they want you to open this thing. When you pull on the bottom here, it pulls down on the thing itself. It kind of crushes it. Not good design. It is not as good as it smells. I'm a little... I'm not too thrilled with how that... I don't think this is going to taste that good. That's what I'm trying to say. It looks like a croissant with chocolate on top. I thought it was like an eclair. Oh, it does have filling. Yeah. It's much more Chinese pastry than I would have. The smell seems very American pastry, but taste wise, Chinese pastries are more close to bread with like a sweetness to it. That's not very good. Mm -mm. I don't even think I'm gonna finish that. That's really disappointing. I really wanted that bagel sandwich. This is unfortunate. Luckin Coffee's coffee is so far ahead of these other two baked goods, or baked bads, I guess. I just wish they would put a little more effort into these. I wonder what other people think. The Ethiopia coconut latte, that's a 10. Well done, Slytherin, well done. However, the score must include the whole meal. The cookie is a six for sure. Very much edible, not a particularly amazing experience. The eclair is a three. It feels like they were going for a dark chocolate for Chinese taste buds, like a not too sweet type of pastry, but the quality of the chocolate and the texture and flavor just isn't there. I'm truly disappointed. That makes for a 6.3. I'm so sorry, Luckin. You don't deserve that. But I have to do it. Evaluation. Luckin Coffee is known for their drinks. And they do those drinks well. Feels like they don't really care about the packaged extra food items. It seems like they're putting all of their focus into the drinks, and if people want a little something extra to chew while they're drinking coffee, great, an extra buck. But I still think they should work on that. The difference between this experience and my usual experience when I get just a drink is huge. So because of that, I'm giving this experience a seven. Mainly because when I order from a coffee shop, I expect good coffee as the main priority and that's exactly what I got. So that makes for a 64.6 out of 100. That is not good. You can do better, Luckin. And I expect you will when we actually try the bagel sandwich, but in the meantime, get your food act together. Maybe have some fresher goods that come in a paper sleeve instead of these plastic containers. Match the quality of those matcha ball things that you have. But for now, that's a D in my breakfast delivery experience. A solid D, mind you, not like a D minus. Same grade I got in physics class in high school. But it was an AP class though, so that makes it a C you don't get the same luxury. This is an AP coffee class. Come on, Luckin. I believe in you. <sighs> Sorry, Luckin. There's not much I can do. Still friends? 